Alright folks and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Minecraft Pocket Edition server for Android. This is going to be the first video in a series of videos using Minecraft Pocket Edition. So for this particular video we're going to be showing you how to create your own Minecraft Pocket Edition server locally on your own Wi-Fi network so anybody connected to your Wi-Fi network can essentially play with you in game. Folks, to start off we're going to want to download a little app called Pocketmine. Now as you can see Pocketmine is on the Play Store. Ideally you don't want to be downloading this version of Pocketmine as it only supports PHP 5 whereas the Pocketmine which I've included in the description below supports PHP 7 for newer servers. Okay folks, so as we can see we're in Pocketmine here. This is essentially where we're going to start up and set up your server. However, before we do this, we have to download the minecraft.far file in the description below. The far file is the runnable file which will allow the server to run through Pocketmine. So for the next step, you're going to want a file manager. I highly recommend Asus's file manager on the Play Store. So once you click into your file manager, you're going to want to go into your internal storage and you want to make sure that we're in the folder root and SD card. Then you're going to want to create a new folder and you're going to want to call it Pocketmine with a capital P and a capital M. Now that we've downloaded the FAR file, we're going to want to copy the FAR file from our downloads folder and we want to copy it to our new Pocketmine folder that we've created. And as you can see, the FAR file is in the Pocketmine folder. So now that we have the FAR file in the right place, let's go run our server. So, in order to start our server, you're going to want to press this button in the top left, Start Server. Then, once you've started your server, you're going to want to click on this little monitor icon on the top right. And this will give you access to the console and will give you all the details about your server. So as you scroll down to the bottom of the console here, you can see that the file is asking for a language. So if you're going to want to run this in English, you're going to want to type in ENG and press enter. And then it's going to take a moment and it will prompt you with another question. Okay, so now it's asking you do you accept the license agreement? So we accept the license agreement by pressing Y for yes. And then we accept the agreement a second time by entering Y again. And now we can see the server being created and once we see done on the bottom line here that means we're all ready to go. We're going to want to back out and we're going to want to take a note of this particular Android device's IP address which can be found in the previous screen. Okay so now let's go over to Minecraft. So now that we're in Minecraft as you can see when we hit play and go over to friends that the Minecraft server has already appeared. However, you can connect to this server manually by tapping the Add Server button and entering the IP address there. And so we tap into our server, wait for the map to load and there we go, we're playing on the server. And my friend on an iOS device has joined me here too. Hope you enjoyed the video folks, stay tuned until the next time where I go through port forwarding to make your server public so anyone around the world can join in the fun. That's going to wrap up this little video. If you really liked the video, please throw a thumbs up on it. If you really enjoyed my content, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out an awful lot. You can follow me anytime on Twitter and Facebook at ForTheBanterNI. But until next time, my friends, goodbye.